Steven Cudeno, Kale Art of Sports, right here with the one and only Jose Benavides. Man, you got another big one with uh, Diego Pacheco. He's uh, obviously knocking at the door, right, of, uh, of championships. But this one against Suleki is a tough fight, man. Suleki's only lost against, you know, the best of the time, right, Andrade, uh, Daniel Jacobs. Never been stopped either. I mean, this is this is a really tough fight for uh, for Diego. Yeah, you know what? We're super excited. We had a great camp. He trained really hard. Now, like I said, you know, the big motivation that he has. He has a daughter now, and uh, man, that gives him more strength to keep uh, training hard and staying more disciplined. This tough with Sulaki, man, it's a tough fight, man. This guy, like you said, you know, he fought. You know, these guys never been stopped. So this is an opportunity for Diego to stop this guy and look impressive in order to get to the bigger fights. And I think he's very close to getting to a, a, a maybe like an interim title or hopefully a, a world title you know I think uh, he's been progressing little by little and um, I can't wait man to see how far he can go I think he's ready you said you know he recently had a kid uh I mean, you've been in camp with obviously David, who's had a kid, you know, since before, obviously his whole life, right? But like, how does Diego specifically has how has he changed since having a kid? Have you noticed the difference in the in the gym? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, now with the kid, you know, they think a little bit better. Now they're not just fighting for themselves; they're fighting for the new family, for the baby and 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 the the wife, you know. Uh, so it's a big motivation. Now I, I see the difference because he's there more on time, and you know he pushes it a little bit more and. and and, you know, like right now, you know, he, since we got here, he's, on, he's been in weight. So I was like, wow, you know, that's a big difference right there. So everything's going well. So he's super motivated. Like I said, this is a big fight, a tough fight for him. Like uh, Suleki said, you know, he's going to take, take him to deep waters and see if he can swim. I'm pretty sure that he's ready to swim. And I think uh, he's going to look impressive on Saturday. You know, he's fighting kind of his hometown, right? He's from uh, from out here in L.A. You know, we're, we're here in, in Carson. Uh, does that... I don't know, do you, guys that fight in their hometown, do you have to do anything different, kind of like maybe stop the, the friends from high school and you know what I mean? I don't, do you have to do anything extra as a trainer to kind of like keep their focus going? No, I don't think so. You know, he fought here before, uh, uh, so that was good that he got that out of the way. No, he's focused. He's uh, super, like I said, he matured a lot. He's super focused. He knows what he wants and he's ready. He's ready to prove the world that he's the best at 168. You know, a fight that a lot of us in the media thought was going to happen when Diego signed with Matchroom and Berlanga signed with Matchroom was, you know, that fight, right? The Puerto Rico versus Mexico with Edgar Berlanga and, and Diego Pacheco. Obviously, you know, Berlanga did get the Mexico, you know, versus Puerto Rico fight in, in Canelo, but it's... I feel like it, it's a little too early in the sense that, you know, I mean, Diego, I feel, is kind of, you know, maybe in the same level as Berlanga. Are you maybe surprised that Berlanga ended up getting the, the fight against Canelo before? I don't, think, uh, I don't think that Berlanga's in the same level as Diego. I think Diego has proven himself to be a little bit better and progress on, progress on his fights. Um, I would love those fights, you know, to fight Berlanga, Munguia, and all those guys that are right there to prove our, 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 our skills and see where we at, you know, and that's where we can see where he's at. But I believe that Diego Pacheco has been looking better and better uh, every fight and every uh, he's been improving like I said you know uh, Berlanga congratulations on lending that fight with Canelo I, I hope he wins um, I'm, I'm I want him to win, and uh, but like I said, you know he hasn't been looking good. I think he's a great kid. You know he's very talented. Uh, but I always said, you know, with a lot of discipline, and I hope he uh, had a lot of discipline and and focus on this fight, because then we could see a big upset with uh, Canelo Alvarez. But I feel that that Diego was on another level. Why? Why is it that you, um, you? Uh, you, that you want him to win. Why is the, it that you reason, want Berlanga? The reason that I, um, I'm going for Berlanga to win, it's a tough fight, you know, but if I was to bet money, I think Canelo is, is going to beat him. The reason I want him to win is because he's young, he's strong. Like I said, if he's dedicated, you know, he has a, a really good chance to beat uh, Canelo. Um, like I said, you know, just the focus and the dedication and the discipline is, is going to take him there, and I hope that, yeah, he did have a great training camp. And the reason I want him to, to win is because once you take those belts away from Canelo, more fighters are going to have more opportunities. With Canelo, there's not even a chance that even Diego could fight him. Does that make sense? I don't think Canelo would fight a Diego Pacheco. You know, so Berlanga, I mean, we're in the same uh, promotion company, so that's more doable. And that's the reason I would love for Berlanga to win, because uh, there will be more opportunities for other fighters. You know, Canelo has recently talked about Davis' performance at 175. You know, said he it's his weight class and, you know, he did. He, you know, struggle with a guy that retired, and I'm, you know, uh, exactly. 2019. Just what, what were your thoughts on Canelo's well, comments? That's right away. It's like, okay, you fought Charlo. He was a little guy. What did you do to him? You know, now you're talking about David. You know, I mean, 
cut to the bullshit and let's make that fight happen. Like I said, you know, he said he wanted two million dollars. Then he said that uh, David brings 25 uh, pounds to the day of the fight. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I think he's losing a lot of fans and we're gaining a lot of fans because he doesn't want to fight David and that shadow is always going to be there. So I think if, before he retires, he needs to make that fight with David. Otherwise, everybody's going to uh, talk about David, that he was scared of David. And, and don't get me wrong, he's a great fighter. He, that would be a tough, tough fight. And it's a very dangerous fight for us, too, but we're willing to take that up, uh, chances. You know, I know obviously you're you're David's dad, so you, you know, have a, a, a you know, kind of a, you know, a, your your opinion of, about that. But is if Canelo doesn't fight David Benavides, do you think that does hurt his legacy? It's going to hurt his legacy because, like I said, they will never approve him of being the best. He has to fight David because that shadow is always going to be there. So I, I like now, you know, I we went up to 175, man, and I still. I, I, I thought, holy shit, you know, now nobody's going to ask me about Canelo. It's still the same thing. Canelo, 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 Canelo. So, I mean, it gets kind of boring after a while. You know, there's nothing. We, we You know, I try to do it in a good way. I try to do it in a bad way. And, and it, it, this, it just does not happen. So, uh we're still, you know, even us, you know, to us, it's like, hey, when you can fight Canelo? Everywhere I go, hey, Canelo, Canelo, you know, you know, why don't you fight Canelo, you know? I tell him, well, if we get those $200 million, you know, we can definitely make that fight happen. But that's unreal. I think $100 million maybe it can be possible, but $200 million, I think it's a lot of money. Last one, man. Uh, you know, I know him and uh, David or Diego and, and David are the same size. I know they've been sparring together. Just what what do you see when they're sparring uh, against each other? It's like two you different know, styles, two different styles. You know, and uh, Diego is very young. Uh, it's just improving and getting better and better, you know, so David, you know, has to stay on his toes and uh, Diego has to stay on his toes, you know, because they push push each other every time they spar and fuck, I get super nervous to be honest with you, man, because I mean, it's a it's a great sparring. I, I they're, they're the main sparring, Diego, Daniel Blancas, Julio Porras, you know, those those are the guys that David always spars. So, uh, man, believe me, man, I, I, I get really nervous and thank God everything's been going well and all that, but they push each other and they get better. Every day they spar. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, Diego do his thing on Saturday, sir. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Best of luck. Thank you.